Hey everybody, Peter here with the GoodyReader.com comparison video. Today on the left we have the iPad Mini and on the right we have the Kobo Arc 7 HD. We're going to go compare a couple things here as you can see. We're going to do newspapers, magazines, ebooks, comics, and then a Netflix video. So without further ado, let us get into an ebook. This is running iBooks, this is running Kobo. So as we go through this, you guys can make your comparisons as you see everything I do here so we have page turn animations everything's very quick here they each have long presses you can make highlights different colors on each both of these can make notes let's compare the keyboard so this is an Android device on the right, this is Apple on the left. You can change the keyboard on Android devices. Apple, you're stuck with this. So you have secondary and tertiary sections to change your, get additional characters and all that. Both of these are very responsive as they are both uh, LCD capacitive touchscreen tablets. So you can see you make notes, you can make bookmarks, tapping top right corner or tapping the bookmark logo on the um, iBooks app. You can box large amounts of text if you wish. And you can also share to Facebook as social media platforms and um, uh, search the web and Wikipedia and all that fun stuff. You can also change the fonts by pressing the two little A's next to each other. You have font styles font size, and two-page spread on landscape or one-page spread. You also have themes like night, sepia, classic, and so forth. We have all similar options on the iPad mini as well. Fonts, different types, themes, oh. night, sepia, white, and we also have scroll, which basically conforms the book into one gigantic long book. As you can see, it's all just one long book at that point. Both of these perform very well with page turns. Uh, we'll go back to the book mode, not scroll. This one doesn't have any animations, but you can turn animations off and off, off and on on the iPad but because they're both tablets with quad-core processor and dual-core processors, you're not going to have any problems with changing pages, unlike an e-reader. Next thing we're going to look at is Marvel Comics. So this is the cover. You guys can really see how much of the screen that the iPad uses compared to the Kobo. So we're in guided view. How you do that is you double tap on a panel and you'll go into this kind of awesome view and it'll go panel by panel. So we'll just leave this here for a second. You guys can make a um, comparison between the two screen technologies. If you guys are wondering about the specs, Specs will be listed below in the description so you can get an idea of what each of these tablets bring to the table. That's a good shot. Pinch and zoom. So this is the comic experience on each of these devices using Marvel Comics. And yes, you can download many other applications from their respective markets. Next thing we're going to look at is Zinio for a magazine. Error has occurred on this, so we'll go back to our, our, our art book we were reading. Once again, making tremendous use of the space on the Apple iPad. This is a 7-inch screen. This is a 7.9-inch screen, so look at that.
pinch and zoom available on both. No long presses or anything like that. This is Zinio. Once again, we are choosing Zinio because it's uh, available on both platforms. There are many different apps you can choose to read magazines. We're just showing you. We can't show them all, so we got to show you one. Next thing we're going to look at is a newspaper. Once again, similar applications. We're going to use Press Reader up there. So we're going to click on the Vancouver Sun. Don't need any reading tips, and we'll click on the Vancouver Sun here. Once again, there we go. Page turns. You'll notice that this is the full newspaper, ads and all. So this will be just like you would get it in the um, in the post on the new, off of the newsstand. You might be noticing that it's very hard to read because it is. It's very unreadable on both of these devices. You can pinch and zoom to find that sweet spot. Or if you've noticed, some of these titles are blue. You can actually tap on those to go into a reading mode. And this will skin everything and make it so that it performs just like that of an ebook. And then you have options like long presses, highlights, bunch of options here listen comment page view we also have text changes like so or you can go back to page view by clicking close or clicking back and you're right back to the newspaper so this is a newspaper experience on both of these tablets There we go. <laughs> Last thing we're going to look at is a Netflix video, and we're going to put them side by side to really show you the video. I like both these devices in different ways. iPad's nice and light, whereas the Kobo Arc 7 HD is a lot more versatile. It being Android, you can really sideload anything you want, download anything you want, and you can actually download our favorite app, the Goody Reader Android App Store. And you can put that on there for free, where we have over 100,000 free apps. And they're, um, I must say, they're not those 2,000 versions of Flashlight and 25 whip apps and gun apps they're they're good trending latest and greatest kind of thing so um, i like these tablets for, uh, both for different reasons the price tag of course on the kobo arc 7 hd is significantly lower than ipad minis this is anywhere between 150 to 200 dollars depending on your region this is a little bit more expensive it being an apple product the thing about apple products though that if you don't really know they're very reliable things usually work flawlessly it's very smooth whereas android usually has a lot of force closes but once again they're a lot more versatile you can do a lot more with them and as you can see from the video comparison this being higher resolution than the um, iPad mini really came through in the video also the speakers on the Kobo pretty much the same as the iPad minis speakers they're both not they're not going to fill the room, but you're going to get that crisp, clean sound that both of these really should bring to the table, which they do. So if you guys have any other matchups such as this, uh, please make a request in the comment field below, or you can always email us. And for all of our other YouTube videos, you can go to youtube.com slash goodyreader for over 720 other e-reader and tablet videos, or go to our news publication at goodyreader.com. And for a comparison between the... Kobo Arc 7 HD and iPad Mini. This is Peter. Everybody, have a great day.